In this demonstration video, we will run through an end-to-end -end process dealing with an ISP service provider type campaign. Within this campaign, we'll run through troubleshooting an end user's issue, resolving that issue, as well as providing an upsell opportunity of a service that the user is currently not subscribed to. This process will show the power of SPYCSM as it reaches out to other systems through integrations to provide an extremely robust and efficient process for the agent to follow. Let's go ahead and get started. Because SPYCSM is an integration platform, we have the ability to integrate a telephony system directly into the SPYCSM platform. Through this integration, we're able to bring in information such as the caller ID or ANI information. With that information, SPICE can perform automated tasks such as account searching, account load, and even account creation if the account does not exist. In this instance, SPICE was able to find a match for this caller ID information that was brought in, and an account is loaded automatically for the agent, as well as a new case is created and the guided process is loaded for them. From here, the agent can go ahead and begin working. We're now loaded into the account and at the top of the guided process. If I expand the account information up above, we can see all the details in this account. Now these details can be pulled in from other systems as well if we're integrated with another system, uh, say a customer database or even another billing system. We can bring that information into SPYCSM and present that for the agent. So you can see here we have a few account details, uh, some status, as well as some modem details as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and just minimize the account information for right now, and we're going to focus on the guided process. Now the first few steps of the guided process are going to be driving down to what the issue actually is. Uh, so the first couple of steps is, are going to be more of a general broad selection, which will eventually lead us down to the troubleshooting for that particular issue. So I'm going to go ahead and step through here. We're going to say this is a technical issue today. And then we're going to say this is an issue with the internet service. Now these service selections could be populated based on what's listed in their account information up above, uh, which would reduce the chance of human error by only showing the agent what they need. So I'm going to go ahead and select internet. And then we can select what the issue is with that particular service. Now we're going to go ahead and say that this is a connectivity issue. And that will bring us to troubleshooting that connectivity issue. So the first few steps are going to be just verifying some information and making sure we're dealing with the correct equipment. This first step is displayed based on more of their account information from up above. More specifically, the modem that's listed in their account. An image of the modem has been provided here for the agent's reference when they're helping the caller verify the device or provide any kind of troubleshooting to the device. and that'll bring us on to our next step. Now here we're just going to do a simple power cycle of that device and select whether they're able to browse. So we'll say no, they're unable to browse. And now we've reached an automation point reaching out to the nearest towers for this service. Now it's a wireless internet service so we're providing that through towers. So we've brought in the status of the two nearest towers to this customer and allow the agent to make a selection on those. So we can see that one tower is up, uh, the other tower is definitely offline here. So we can select one tower is up. And now it'll move to pinging those towers. It'll bring those results back into SPICE here for the agent, and then the agent can again make a selection. So we'll say yes, at least one tower is responding because that's what's happening here. And then we're gonna reach out and create a radius map log. What we've done here is taken the customer's address as well as the address of the tower and plotted them both on a map. Now we present that map to the agent and allow them to make a selection as to whether this customer is within range of that current working tower. So we can see here that Susan is within that working range, so we can go ahead and select one tower within range. And that'll move us on to addressing the equipment within Susan's home. So the first step is just going to be to gather whether she is utilizing a router or not. 
so we can go ahead and make that selection. Now this selection is going to be stored as a variable in the background so that we don't have to ask this question again later. We can simply ask the question once, record the answer, and then the guided process will take that into account with any troubleshooting steps going forward. So we can say yes, Susan is using a router, and that will bring us on to checking those devices. So we're just going to go ahead and gather the modem lights on her device which we can do simply through some data collection within the guided process. So the agent is presented with an image of the modem as well as selections for each light on that device and then they can simply record what that customer is telling them. So we can go ahead and select that the power light is green, the ethernet light is off, and the wireless light is green. Now when we click continue, SPICE is going to perform logic in the background on those selections and present us with what the issue is. In this case, SPICE is telling us that the lights selected indicate a LAN issue, so we're going to go ahead and start troubleshooting the Ethernet cables uh, and maybe that router as well that Susan has in her home. So the next few steps are going to be addressing that issue. Uh, so we have some script text again here, this time checking the cable that runs between the modem and the computer, having Susan unplug it at both ends, uh, making sure that it snaps back in securely. Now at this point, the agent can select whether the LAN light comes back on on that modem, in order to continue with the troubleshooting. So we can say that no, the LAN light did not come back on yet. And that's going to move us to addressing that router that we selected earlier. So earlier when we asked the question, uh, do you utilize a router, we selected yes. So now it's presenting us with the troubleshooting to go ahead and bypass that router, essentially to take it out of the picture because we do not support that router in this instance. So we go ahead and direct the customer to remove that router and once it's connected again directly to the modem, we have them check to see if that LAN light is lit now. We'll go ahead and say that this did bring the LAN light back on, so we can say yes, the LAN light is lit. And then we're going to verify if Susan can browse to any web pages. So in this instance, we'll say that yes, Susan's able to browse to web pages. So it appears that there's an issue with her router. Now we've reached the end of the troubleshooting process, so we just give a standard, great, Thank you for calling support today. It looks like we've resolved your issue. Now at this point, we are running some special offers for uh, ex existing subscribers that haven't subscribed to the other services that we have available. Now these other services that we have available in this instance are our central TV service. So at the closing of this case, we actually provide an upsell opportunity for the agent. So at this point, the agent can read, I see you're not currently subscribed to the Central TV service. We currently have a special limited time offer on this service for existing subscribers if you'd like to hear more. And then present the selection, either yes or no, to hear more about this special offer. Now, if the customer is interested, we can go ahead and move down that path and start selling them or providing them with information on this service. So we'll say that the customer is interested and we're going to go ahead and get prices and set up the service here. So I'll go ahead and select interested. Spice is going to go ahead and reach out to the necessary systems and set up the different options that this customer has available to them. Now you can see we have three packages available for Susan here, the select, the extra, and the premier packages. So the agents are presented with each one of these packages and their details. And then given a simple selection in order to select one of those packages and any of the free add-on packages as well. So from this point, the agent can go ahead and make their selection, as well as add any of the additional add-on packages that they would like, and then can continue on through. Now when we click continue, Spice is going to reach out to the necessary systems and set up this service for the customer. So get the order ready uh, and begin the process of getting this service turned on for them. So I'll go ahead and click continue, and that's going to go ahead and set up all of those services and get everything ready for the customer. At this point, we present the agent with the total monthly price of the service, as well as an acknowledgement of the service activation for the customer to acknowledge uh, that yes, they do want to go ahead and start having this service and have this service installed. So we'll go ahead and select the acknowledgement to acknowledge that we do want to start this service, and then we're going to continue on to scheduling the install. So we can move right into scheduling that install directly from this guided process. We don't have to jump to another campaign. We can simply move right on through to scheduling that technician.
So we present a couple of the days that we have available for that technician to make that install and allow the customer to make that selection. We'll say that this customer wants to make this install happen on Thursday afternoon, so we can go ahead and select that within the guided process, and then we can schedule that appointment. Now Spice will go ahead and reach out to the necessary systems and schedule that appointment for the customer, and then present us with our closing script, which reads, okay, I've scheduled your install appointment, and a field engineer will follow up with you the morning of your install. Thanks for choosing Central Communications. Have a great day. At this point, the agent is disengaging with the customer. So we've disconnected with the caller at this point, but there's a few additional back-end steps that we need to complete uh, in order to set up this install. So we can go ahead and click Continue here. At this point, we're not speaking with a customer. And we need to go ahead and assign a field technician to this install. So we have three available technicians here, and we can leave that up to the agent in order to select those. So we'll go ahead and say that Jason is going to do that install. So we'll go ahead and update that tracker. And that brings us to the end of our process. So we present the agent with the wrap-up window. Now, in the wrap-up window, we've automated a few tasks here as well. The status of this case has been set to pending because we did go ahead and initiate a new install. We have scheduled that technician, so the case is essentially pending that install. Now we've set the disposition of the case to connection issues because that is the issue that Susan originally called in for, but we've set a sub-disposition of upsell TV because we did complete that upsell at the end of this case and we did get Susan to subscribe to that TV service and schedule that technician to go out and make that install. At this point, the agent is finished with this case. They can go ahead and click on the complete button and that will wrap up this case so that they can go ahead and move on to their next call.